Now it's time to discuss styled components, which is the modern way to write CSS with React. Why do we need styled components? Well, regular CSS files have not really been a great pattern. Uh, they can turn into large messes of dependent class names with multiple class names applied to different components, and it can be really hard to know the effects of modifying CSS classes and the effects this will have on your app. So CSS is not really tied to specific React components, just to the class names or the ID. React's way of inlining CSS with JavaScript objects required us to rename CSS properties into the JSON notation. Declaring styles in the JavaScript creates kind of this problem of styles with hyphens not working, so you need to rename margin hyphen left to margin left in camel case. And React does maintain this consistently, so it's not difficult to find the matching style for React, but it's more or less annoying to have to change CSS into JavaScript every time. You also have to add quotes onto the values, and it's just not ideal. To solve this, enter styled components. Styled components allow you to write CSS inside JavaScript by using template literals. So you simply paste the same CSS you would in a CSS file directly between the template backticks here. So you can see here we have the backticks right here. So these are the template literals that we're defining. And inside here, we're just writing regular CSS. Now this is just gonna end up being a giant string. So with template literals, you can hit return, you can write multi-line strings here. And so then you can also paste JavaScript in between these brackets. So using template literals, you can write JavaScript inside of this template, which just gets injected in here. And so here you could see we've created a button. So it's gonna create the, a React component that you could use just like a regular React component. And it's gonna generate a unique class name behind the scenes. So we're not writing a different type of CSS here. This is gonna end up being generated as the same CSS, except Styled Components is gonna handle generating that CSS behind the scenes for us. So Styled Components will generate a unique class name for every one of our React components. So this is great. It's now easier to modify styles for your React component without wondering what am I going to break in my app? So instead of declaring styles in a, a giant CSS file, we're now just declaring the styles inside of the React component here. So it's just a conceptually better pattern. So if you're not familiar with template literals, this is just a convention that you could use in JavaScript. So using backticks here, we're just creating a JavaScript expression inside of the backticks. So you can use this inside of a function. So instead of concatenating strings together with the plus operator, you can use template literals here to use the dollar syntax and then the brackets and then just write your JavaScript inside of that. So that's what we're doing with styled components. And this allows you to dynamically create CSS. So here you could see I am passing in a function here. So styled components behind the scene is going to run this function for us. So we're passing in a function and we're saying props, which styled components will give us the props for that React component. And you could see here we're checking if that has the primary prop, and if so, apply this block of CSS. And here we're using the CSS helper, which we'll explain in just a second. But what this does is it's going to apply these styles on top of these styles here. So you could see we have a normal button and if we specify a primary button, we're going to apply this CSS here. And so that creates this button over here. And the CSS helper is a helper function to generate CSS from a template literal with interpolations. So if you're defining another function in here, you need to use the CSS helper. So we'll use the CSS helper, but essentially this is just a better way of declaring mix-ins or other type of CSS. You could use the CSS helper. And so you're going to import that CSS helper from styled components and then use it. So this is a mix-in that styled components is just demoing here for us. So this is a mix-in where someone's passing in a white color and use the white string here or black. So we you know, declare this mix-in here and then use it right here. So if this component has this complex prop, it will use this whole complex mix-in right here, which applies this color equal to white or black. And then finally, you can extend styles. So by wrapping a component in the styled function here, and you could use any React component in here, it will apply the styles from that component. So here we're passing in that button, it will create a new button which has the same styles except applying these styles here. So you could say style.button or styled and then in parentheses pass in that function. So that's gonna create a new styled component with these styles applied. And you could see here, the button on the right is the new tomato button that's been created. So it overwrites the color property and it overwrites the border color.